and uh, record everything as we're going along, all right? Well, yeah. Actually, Danny, if, if, if you want to record us, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip the camera around and hand this to Lawrence. And he's going to be... Uh, He's going to be handling everything today. Oh. Hang on, man. Right. Um, see if I can find a way to keep this my mouth. You guys can hear me better. All right. <clears throat> okay. The, uh, First thing we're going to do is we're going to open flash cut. And we're going to rewrite that uh, begin grid code for the uh, pipe. I want to test it out and see if it works. Do you know that the pipe that they're talking about that they want me to come in and cut in? They told me that shit came in and guess what? Guess what didn't come in? The fight. Of course not. So now, now I got to cut what we got here, which was not the plan. We missed our morning forum about our mechanical technology. But I'm just going to stop bitching to get to the last one. We're already running super late. All right, we get our dry run checked. Uh, not going to zero anything out yet. Let's go ahead in and we'll write the program. Uh, we got D20. We got M106 H plasma one. H plasma one, hashtag fab head dot mode equals cut. We're going to put in our star position D zero zero. X zero, Y zero. Now they want six inch lengths. So we'll go right into G603. Our first line will be G01. Now remember, when we're cutting pipe, X never moves. So X is going to be zero. Y is going to be zero. W, I'm changing this to 40.25. Instead of 40.75, trying to cut down on the divot size, we'll put a speed in of 60. I have to turn on the damn torch. All right, so we go to the end of this line. We're going to do M51. We're going to raise the torch. Uh, we are going to send it back to the home position. No, we're not sending it back to the home position. We'll just leave it as a torch being raised. What I'm going to do up here is uh, I'm going to add a line in here. I'm going to try something. I'm going to put a G00, G0. Because I want to copy this whole program. I want it to, in between cuts, I want to try to get the torch to raise and then lower back down again. Just doing a sound check. Can you guys still hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, just want to make sure, man. All right. 
So I think by doing this, by um, raising the torch at the end, but at the beginning, actually lowering it to zero, we'll put the end grid at the very end of the program. That way it cycles everything through and it'll start at a zero. It's going to make the cut, turn the torch off and raise it. And then once we initiate the begin grid sequence every three inches, it should do the same thing. It should raise, move, lower. So we're going to try to put this in. All right, so we'll go begin grid. All right. We don't want to move it anywhere. So X is going to stay as zero. Y is going to stay as zero. Uh, our increment X is going to be zero. We don't want that to change. Our increment Y is going to be three inches. Um, we're going to move by row. And we're going to cut by row. Make sure I got eight digits here. Oh, I forgot how many columns and rows. One column, one row. All right, one column, one row, starting at zero, uh, both X and Y. Uh, got a two. Incremental X movement, three inch Y movement. Um, we're going to build it by rows. We're going to cut it by rows. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now down at the bottom, we're going to type end grid. All right, we're going to save this. Uh, I'm going to call it begin grid pipe cut and we'll put today's date. I think it's the 12th. I'm going to save it. Close it. Uh, it's an error in line three, so I typed something in wrong. Uh, it's gab head instead of bad head. Easy fix. Save it again. Close it. Uh, Just for this purposes, I'm going to move the speed up a little bit. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Uh, after we turn the torch off, we have to rotate the W axis back to zero. I just forgot to do. I will save it. I will close it. I'm just going to do a test simulation here. Uh, sorry. I got to change this. We're going to try this. Uh, we'll try it two rows. Uh, we'll try three rows. Uh, we'll try two rows and see how this works out. So that should give us one cut at the end to true the end, and then it should give us one three-inch pipe cut. So that's what should happen the way this code works. Close it. Just going to hit play because I want to see what happens in the simulation. Shit. Zero it out. All right. Refresh the code. Got the G 
juice. And make sure the sink generator has power plugged in. Need to test something real quick. Okay. Uh, ah, we got some kind of issue here. Take a look. Things plugged in there. Ah, I know what we had to do. Are you trying to go down there? Yeah. So I wouldn't have did shit anyway. All right. Hook up and flash got back up. Now we should be good to go. There we go. All right, that's better. All right, so go back into our CNC file. We're gonna open that program we just did. Quick dry run, power source. Go. Everything lights up. Zero it out. All right, we're gonna hit play. This rolls. <clears throat>
W should go to 40.25. Uh, the torque should raise up to 0 0.5. Should move to 3. Then the Z should move back down to 0. W should go back down to... Zero. Let's see what happens now. Raise. Okay. Move three. You notice what it didn't do. Right, hang on. We're going to have to move this into the command line. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this in position where we mm -hmm. need it. And so we're going to raise up our Z as high as we can go. Start taking it over to the right where the pipe is. Yeah, we're going to keep cutting this one. Do me a favor, Lawrence. Uh, hit the X plus and keep holding it down. I just don't want to have to move all this shit. All right, that's good. All right, cool. All right. Now, <clears throat> use our uh, angle finder. We're gonna make the angle a little more steep than we did last. Are you ready there, Lauren? What's that? Okay, can I keep him for a little bit? Oh, I really, nope. I really, really need him. Wow, well, at fifty cents to buy a cup of coffee, I really need him too. And I've been asking for him for a month. So, and I got him today. Just during your class. The class is from 10 to 11, right? So uh, it's over. Technically over. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got. You got to go, man. I can hold it. Thank <laughs> you. 
right. Get our angle set. So we're gonna go just a tad steep. Check the consumables. Just change these, so it should be pretty good. Shield cap looks good. Nozzles good, looks almost brand new, very round. Uh, no carbon buildup or cracks in the electrode. And the swirl ring, we never really changed. So we'll uh, put all this back together. Just back on hand tight. All right, now we'll position this beast in the center. Like we gotta go. X just a little bit to the left. Why is probably fine. So over the Z. All right, check our pipe, make sure we're level. What's the angle at? The angle today is set at 67 and a half. We're gonna increase this. Looks like we got a little bit of movement. Uh, need to bring it up just a hair. No problem. Grab our pliers. And I think this side's got to come down a little bit. Nope. 
Looks pretty good. Pretty good. Can't really check it that way. Leave that there for future use. That's our torch. That angle actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to double check it. Let's see. It's this way. That's pretty damn straight. Uh. X is going to need to go over just one tenth. To the left. Z, I'm going to lower just a hair. Uh, it should be like perfect. Maybe I'll raise it up just a tiny bit. You are going to have to move this down. <sighs> See if I can do this. I have to move everything. Level again. That's pretty good. Torch head back in. On the way to the right. Yeah, that adjustment that I did did make it move up a little bit, so I gotta raise the torch just a hair. Give me two more. All right, that looks good. Check our angle finder. Now, we want it to be parallel. It's a gray, but it's pretty close. Uh, that's about exactly where we want it. Okay, so everything being set.
Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we'll we'll leave it at that. All right, gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and do a dry run. Make sure that uh, this is going to work. This is the first time this has ever been attempted. Maybe, maybe even in history. Boom. Zero all. Set. Zero all. All right. We're going to have to change this back to 60. Save. Close it, refresh it. All right, we're gonna run the dry run. Here we go. So, right now the pipe's actually making its first cut, it's screwing off the end of the pipe. I had to raise up before it did that. We're going to stop it. Tweak some things. Uh, put that before the pipe revolution. Uh, we will put our Z zero command up in this one. Restart, re zero everything out. Press the code. Dry run test number two. All okay, we're making our initial cut.
So it raised up like I wanted it to this time before it did the rotation. Now, hopefully, when it moves to the next position, ah, the torch lowered back down. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted to happen. Needed to tweak the code just a little bit. Okay. I think we can put an extra row in here now. Go ahead and cut three of these. And uh, it should stop right here, like when it's done. It'll probably uh, raise up, rotate in the other direction, and it should stop. All right, so the coding is excellent. Okay. All right, we're ready for a regular run. We are going to move our Z back to its original position. And lower our torch. One, two, three, four, five. Notice it was a little high, so lowered a few extra. Lowered three extra notches. Maybe one more. That looks good. Um, this angle is looking good. All right. Test this out. We're going to go back into the code. Let's say that we three roads. We're going to save it. Close it. We're going to zero everything out again. Press the code. Turn on our power source. And we're going to cut this at, uh, we'll go with 70 amps. All right, so what what's that? Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Here it comes. Are we ready? Here we go. Boom. Gentlemen, we have a flawless cut. Right. Angle looks amazing. Divot is very small. Moving to the next position. Making our cut.
So far, I am very impressed. That is beautiful. Very, very small divot. Check. Ooh. Yeah, that's damn good. That looks that really nice. so good. This is so good. I'm going to keep this separate from the other one. Wonderful. Who would have thought? Begin grid, cut and pipe. Ah, uh, you know what? I rolls, bro. Yeah, I should have. It counts the first one that we cut off. That's why it was only three. But yeah. So, but these uh, we put these together. That channel is like perfect. Mm -hmm. That's that's even better than the ones we did the other day. This is this is on point. They weld them together, huh? Yeah, they'll weld these together. That's that's perfect. These are these are incredible. So all right. So what we'll do now is we're actually already in position. Huh? Oh. All right. Sorry about that. All right. What uh, position to start making a next series of cuts? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to move the guide bar down for the support rollers. Move it, move it down here. This will be good. Tighten it back up. Gentlemen, I gotta say, man, I'm very impressed about this begin grid pipe cut business. I would have never thought of it if it wasn't for you guys. So everybody get some extra credit. Check the level. Uh Wow, that's, that's pretty damn close. Needs just a little bit more. And we're there. All right. We're all level again. We're just going to check the. Uh, Pipe itself. Make sure it's clamped in here nice and tight. Uh, see, it comes a little loose in vibration. 
And what I like to do, I like tighten it up, but I give it a few taps. Make sure that pitch is in there tight. Check it with our level again. We are we're on point. We reattach our torch. Okay, so the only thing we should have to do is lower the torch down the five tenths. Uh, yeah. Double check it with the angle finder. Pretty spot on right there. Looks good. Um, we we'll check the centering. Uh, it looks like the X needs to go over just a hair. You're going to notice that as we go down, because the way that they position this, uh, this drum is slightly slanted. So the further you go down the pipe, the... Uh, Further we go down the pipe, okay. which is slightly high, so why don't I just lower it a few notches? Take a look. That looks pretty good. All right, so what I'm hoping is gonna gonna ignite, and it'll be just enough contact with the metal to where it doesn't shut off. So uh, go ahead and uh. Reset everything and fire it up. In US, boom, zero all, set, zero all. All right. Take our measuring tape and see how many we can actually get. So. Looks like we got about 25 inches before we get to the support roller. So 24. So we could actually cut. Um, we could cut eight lengths of three inch pipe. So we'll go into our program and. We're going to change this to nine because it'll be the original and then the eight. Okay, save this, close it. Just going to zero everything out again, just to be safe. Um well it's uh, the length of the pipe is uh down here. It's gonna be three inches. Uh nine this is 
we only have one column. Uh, just doing one straight line. This is the number of rows. So it's going to make nine cuts, but the first cut is going to be at the zero position, so we can't count that one. So this is actually going to give us eight. Um, but they'll all be three inches in length. And this is one inch. Yeah, yeah. We can't cut in a zigzag pattern. We had to build this grid by the row because each cut is actually a row. And we have to cut it by the row. So this is where we can use your usual zigzag by row. Ready to go. Torch looks good. Fire in the hole. Now, hopefully, it keeps contact enough with the material at the zero position so that it doesn't shut off. That's the only thing I'm worried about right now. If anything, it's just kind of like repolishing the end. Yep. We kept contact. It's just a uh, little bit of dross, but angle still looks good. We didn't really uh, lose any material, so that's good. This is absolutely fantastic. This is uh, this is drastically cut the amount of time that we used to put in the program and pipe to be cut. I mean, this is like pretty much revolutionary shit here. Thickness of the beam is like perfect. And this is really running smooth. We can tell that basically by by how smooth this cut is that we're using a really good amperage. Mm -hmm. This is cut at 70 amps. This is uh, this is when we cut at 75. Wait, this is hot. This one we did today. No, uh, this one, this one was cut at 75, and I mean it's just as good. This is good. About the only difference. Is the divot is a little bit cleaner. Mm -hmm. But this divot is smaller and it'll be easier to polish out. Good.
Uh, while we're working on this, might as well go ahead and hook up the grinder. Think about it. We can actually have this Power Max 85 set in bevel mode, but uh, so far it's doing okay. So we're just leaving it away. You don't want to fix what's not broken. I'm just fall off. Excellent. So, to get rid of this divot, it's going to get allowed for just, just a few seconds. Turn on your die grinder. Okay, no problem. We're going to try as much as possible to keep the same angle. I know it's hard when you're eyeing it up. Incredible. Another way we could do this really quick, you have to be a little more careful. Use the cutoff wheel instead.
think that's probably the last one. All right, excellent. All right. Well, gentlemen, uh, I'll just go through this uh, last step I wanted to show you about using the cutoff wheel to level this out. I said you just have to be a little more careful. Basically does the same thing, but just leaves it a little bit cleaner. Also helps because you kind of stay at the same angle when you do that. Mm -hmm. So, all right, gentlemen, that is it for today. Uh, tomorrow we will have our normal uh, nine thirty discussion and then have class at a regular time at ten. I'll uh, be here early tomorrow, so. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, I need you guys to uh, sign out before me so I can log the attendance. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, man. All right. Excellent. Excellent work today. Let me get up here and see what uh can we Yeah, yeah, you're you're good. You good? Yeah. Um uh, Yeah, I'll just finish cutting this and then maybe at some point you can help me load another piece. Okay. So right now I got enough to see you baby.